Katie from Without a Piss of All. Welcome back to my channel. I am so glad to have you here. I am plugging away. It's Tuesday afternoon and we are going to start on our third video of the day and we're going to talk about the Gosselins because why not? That's always what I say with all of my videos because why not, right? Okay, so before we do get started, please do me a favor. Please do me a favor and give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel down here if you haven't yet and if you like this content please share it with a friend as well as leave my leave some comments and let me know what your thoughts are on what we discussed today all right so the last few weeks has been kind of a bing bong bing you know i always say that like it's just like back and forth it's like ping pong and the goslin parents were going back and forth about colin now, last week, John was like super broke and he needed to pay for his mortgage. So he totally called up the son and he was like, so do you want to talk about the um, mean tweets or the mean comments that Maddie got? So I will let you know my thoughts, even though we don't speak to each other. And then the son was like, yes, John will pay you $4,000. Okay, bye. All right. So that's really what happened, except that's not what happened. Okay. John did an interview with the son basically saying that like he doesn't like the fact that his kids are being sent mean messages, even though he was the one that decided to put them on TV along with his wife, ex-wife Kate. Now Maddie is currently in college and she just turned 20. Whoa, can we just pause for a second? The twins are 20. The twins are 20. Who remembers when the twins were babies? Not babies, but you know what I mean, like babies. They were like five, six years old. Me, I remember when these kids were tiny, itty bitties, and now they're 20 in college. Now, Maddie is busy in school. She was at home for a brief period last spring when schools in New York shut down, but now she's back on campus and she is in, I think her sophomore year. Kara is at a separate school, but the two of them are doing well, apparently. Now, here's where things get a little bit tricky because we need to talk about this dynamic between mom and dad and Maddie and Kara are adults now for all intents and purposes. They are young adults and they are still not independent because they are at school and then when they're off school, they go to their parents, go back to mom's house, okay? They're in that sort of in-between college stage. So Maddie is... 20. She is the most outspoken of the two. Now in comments last week, you were all like, she's a mini Kate. She's all like the dictator. She's all do this, do that, do this, do that. No. And then she's all like, I've got the wooden spoon, but this is not really a wooden spoon. It's a, it's a, it's a uh, brush. So, but this is just my prop. Like I got the wooden spoon. You know, do you think that's what she does to her sisters? I doubt it. Anyways. So Maddie is in like, she's kind of like Kate. She is very outspoken. She has no problem saying how she feels. She has no filter. She had no problem even telling her mom like that she was not loving her. I mean, the last episode that they did of Kate plus eight was like a college tour, which is no longer on TLC. And Maddie talked about how she was like so glad to get away from her mom. And she was so happy that, you know, she would be able to go about her life and say that she didn't have to live there anymore. Okay, so Maddie is happy to be away. And so is Kara. They're adults. That's what happens. Okay, so last week, John is in the tabloids and he's basically talking about how Maddie is still his daughter, but he like hasn't talked to her in years, like years, years. Imagine having a kid and literally not talking to them for years. I mean, do you, I don't even know what that would be like. I don't talk to my son for like an hour and I'm just like, what is he doing? Where is he going? Where are you? What's going on? Hey, can you tell me, have you like eaten? Did you, did you cross the road? Did you do your homework? What are you doing? You know what I mean? Like I wouldn't be able to handle it if it would have been years. Um, but he says that it's been years. Okay. And so naturally, he comes out and he's like, I still love her. So naturally, somehow a source talks to In Touch and says that Maddie loves her father, but she doesn't want to be in the drama. Yes. Now, anytime a source, 
undis and undisclosed sources, I always wonder who is it from the family? Is it Kate? Is it Maddie? Is it her? You know, who is it? Is it a friend? It's obviously someone connected to the family because this is what the, this is what they say about Maddie. So they say that Maddie is not allowing the family drama to detour her from paving her own path and chasing her own goals. So she wants to stay out of everything that happens between mom and dad and all of the turmoil that surrounds them. She says that her priority is herself and her school. And she wants really nothing to do with what happens between mom and dad. She says that she keeps her distance from her dad. So this is what the source says. Maddie keeps her distance from her dad, John. She loves John because he's her dad, but she supports her mom 100%. Okay, wait a minute. Whoa, okay, I'm, I'm confused. Why would you have to support one parent over the other? Like, why can't you just love both? Why do you have to pick? This is the part about this parental alienation that I think is really sad because Maddie feels like, I'm guessing if she talks to her dad, she's betraying her mom. And that the rumor is that Colin got the brunt of Kate because he wanted to still have a relationship with his dad. So because of that, Kate took it out on Colin. That's allegedly, right? So why it makes me sad that a child, 20 year old adult, feels like now as an adult, if she talks to her father, that she's portraying her mother. I don't like this. And then they continued and said, she's in school and moving forward. Maddie loves her dysfunctional family. No matter what, she just hopes that Colin is safe and there's mutual respect there. She has to say something about Colin, which goes back to what happened a few weeks ago where Colin was claiming that his dad had done some things to himself to him and then a false report was made according to John which resulted in the police coming and a, a report to child for family services which was then dropped okay so everything with Colin ends up being false it didn't stop Kate from going into the media and accusing John of stuff and then that had John releasing a report well it wasn't released by John it was released by a source and then it comes down to him basically saying that Colin has all of these issues because of Kate. Well, now Maddie's coming out. And so then Hannah came out in defense of her dad. And now it appears that Maddie is coming out in defense of her mom, even though she's not wanting to be in the drama. She says that she will never turn. Her, so the source says she will never turn her back on Kate, but she's avoiding the drama at all costs. She's made friends, dated a little while she doesn't crave the limelight right now. She hasn't necessarily ruled out a return to deep TV. Maybe someday they can have a spinoff to see what she and her siblings are up to. So there is apparently still a divide with Hannah and Colin since they're both with John. So, but who knows what the future holds. She's living her life right now and not focusing on stirring up a family feud. feud. She leaves that up to others. This is what makes me sad. There's a divide with the kids because the parents cannot get along and because the mom has made them believe that the dad is terrible. Siblings should not feel conflicted and feel bad for having a relationship with a parent. A ex should not poison a kid's mind into believing that they can't have a relationship with their ex. Either Kate is seriously vindictive or John is just a tool, sh tool canoe and he's everything that Kate says or Kate is everything that John says. But either way, the fact that these kids feel like they have to pick and those that have picked sides can't even come together and be friends makes me so frustrated. I'm still waiting for one of these kids to break free from this crud and speak out not feeling like they have to defend one of their parents, but from their own perspective of what a crap situation that they're put in because of their parents. None of them would be in this situation if their parents were had a more successful way to co-parent. And I mean, good for Maddie for not getting involved, but I still feel like this is coming from Kate or from Maddie. And the fact that they have to subtly jab, you know, John and Colin and talk about the, the fighting and all of that. It's just, it just further proves 
that this family is a damn mess and it's not going to get better as long as these two parents can't find a way to come together or just call a truce because the kids shouldn't have to pick. It's so dumb. And I mean that like dumb, like it's just so ridiculous. So what do you think? I know some of you are critical and you're all like team John or team Kate or I hate that you're so mean to Kate, you know, tell me what your thoughts are. Do you like that Maddie wants to be like ride or die Kate? She's like, I'm a ride or die with my mom and Colin's all like, I'm ride or die with my dad. You know, nobody should be ride or die with either. They should be able to love either parent. So what do you think? Is this source Kate? Is the source Maddie? Or did someone need a payday from In Touch? Ooh, did Maddie have new books she needed to buy? So she was all in touch. I have a comment about my dad. What do you think? Tell me what your thoughts are in the comments below. Bye guys.